Sup lads. By the end of this video, I will have taught you very quickly and systematically how to create a high status Instagram account. The reason why this is important, maybe you don't wanna be on Instagram right now. Tough, you have to, it's where the money's at, it's where the girls are at, it's where the opportunities are at. It is probably the biggest place online that you can improve and see massive benefits in your life. So let's break this down step by step. Let's make it simple. Just come through this video. I'll teach you exactly what to do. Back in the day, I didn't have a good IG either. I didn't, it took me about four years to learn this stuff and I'm gonna just drop it all for you now. So just follow this step by step. Let's get your IG sorted. Let's get you a bit of puss. Let's get you a bit of money. That's what this channel is all about. Your online presence, that's how you're judged basically. It's how you walk into the room. If you're, no matter where you're at in life right now, if that's not seen online, it doesn't exist. Most people live online. I'm not saying that's good. I think it's a bad thing, but it's just the world. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. You gotta learn to play the game. So, biggest networking tool you have is Instagram. And 99% of you are fucking it up. Like, I'd look at your Instagram and never message you back. That's 99% of people that message me on IG because the profile's not optimized and it doesn't build any trust. There's no attraction, there's no status. You have gotta give people a little look into your life in a way that makes them think, oh, maybe I'd like to know this guy. And then you can use Instagram in the right way for women, for money, for business, for everything. Some of the richest guys in the world that have all the money and you'd think, oh, they should just go off Instagram. Like they shouldn't even be on there, they just go and live their lives. That's probably what I'd do as well. But the big ballers in the world are focusing on personal brands. And I think the reason for that is, is purely the connections. If they're seen online, more business opportunities, more abilities to meet celebrities and other high net worth individuals. So they're all investing in this stuff. So if the top dogs are doing it, we should do it as well. Let's do the basics first. Let's just get this out of the way. You basically wanna have the username as your actual name or as close as that as you can get. So if you've got any crazy shit in your Instagram username right now, that's the first one, very simple. Just change that as close to your name as you can get or a name you wanna be known by if you have an alias for your sort of personal brand. Next thing, private. You can't be on private. You've gotta be a public profile. If I ever get a message from someone that's on private, even if I'm interested in the message, I can't find out anything about them and I don't wanna follow them to find out. So I don't reply to the message. And if you're gonna use this as a tool with women, if you're gonna use it as a tool for business networking or money, you've gotta take it off private. Next thing, never create a new IG. Your current following, the people that you have there right now, that's been bred over time. And those people, if you do turn to building a personal brand, they become your first customers, they're your following. Never create a new IG if you're gonna create a personal brand, just archive your old posts. When it comes to archiving old posts, what I want you to do is go through your profile and just archive anything that doesn't have you looking your best. And you'll be like, but my profile's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be empty. Yeah, we're gonna tell you exactly what to put on the profile in a minute. But go through, look at your posts. Is that a picture of you looking good or is that a picture of you looking bad? Would you want the love of your life or an amazing business opportunity seeing that picture? If, they, if you wouldn't want them seeing it, archive it right now, clean up the bottom of your Instagram, all that old stuff, clean that up. Another basic, get the blue tick. It's super cheap to get. People used to pay like 10 grand to get the blue tick. Now you can just sign up for the blue tick to get meta verified. This isn't a status thing. This isn't um, uh, like trying to seem bigger than you are. This is just a fact of like, that's a verified profile. So if I get from a blue tick a message, I'm more likely to read it because I know that person is the person that they say they are. They are. I know it's not a fake account. That's why blue tick's important. So jot them down, sort the username, take yourself off private, never create a new IG. Take, archive all your old pictures and get the blue tip. There we go, we're, we're, already, we're already absolutely steaming ahead. Profile picture, no AI. I recently got a message from a guy who I'd actually DM before. I knew this guy, he's got a great profile, but he changed it to an AI picture of himself. And I didn't respond for ages because I didn't know who it was for starters. It didn't really look like him anymore. And two, I never really trust the AI pics because I'm like, if you don't have a picture of your real face, maybe it's a fake profile. So get rid of the AI or any animations or graphics or pictures where we can't see you in the profile. It has to be you, it has to be high quality. This is your first impression. Make sure that it's a good one. This is absolute basic. So here's a, a couple of examples of good profile pictures. So you could take any of these profile pictures. It's my boy, Drawer. It's my boy, Bill. That's me. My boy, Robert Oliver. My boy, Iman. But these are good examples of profile pictures. You want a high quality picture that shows your face, 
shows a little bit of status, shows that you're about it. So these are very simple, just figure these out. You could go and get a little photo shoot done, which we'll run through later in the video. You wanna take it on a high quality camera, but figure out what you're gonna wear, who you wanna be perceived as, get a fresh trim, get a good picture taken if you don't have one for the profile. Bio and description, a few examples. Iman just has his name and then public figure. It's pretty cool because he's, he's a big guy. He doesn't need to say too much about who he is. He's not using his IG really for business that much. It's just personal use. That's very simple. You don't just have that. Just have your name and then whatever it says underneath. Mine says entrepreneur. I have live fast, don't wait. That's kind of my motto, what I live by. Get it now. Don't fucking wait around for it. Two ways to break free and they lead to my two businesses. 10K Accelerator for guys looking to make the first 10K online in high ticket sales and the new elite, my private network, my inner circle. Then you've got Wes, talks about exactly who he is, a bit of status on there t telling you that he's got 85 million views on the YouTube, he's a best-selling author, he's a worldwide coach. And then this is Robert Oliver's, built and sold multiple e-commerce brands before 30. So if you've got anything cool that you've done, stick it in the profile. If you're running a business, you're owner of a business, put it in the profile. Otherwise, leave it kind of blank or just a little phrase that you live by. That's a very simple way to do it. Don't have your girlfriend's name in there for fuck's sake. That's just infuriated me. I've just remembered that guys actually have their girlfriend's names and the heart in their bio. Get rid of that shit. It's fucking unprofessional. Same for like just some people's are way too hectic, way too busy. Or, or you've got some really weird stuff in there. So just get rid of that. After you get down the profile, so we've worked through profile picture, you now know what you need to do. Take some, taking some notes on that. You know what you need to do for your bio. Then you're gonna get to your stories archive, the little circles at the bottom. Each of these circles should show an area of your life. You can use this for business. If you've got a business, make one that says your business name, and then you've got all of the business posts in that one, and people can click through that. Because when they come on your profile, they wanna get to know you, they check out stories. If you go through mine, check out my old stories when I first started personal brand. I was a dork. Maybe I still dork now, but I was a complete dork. Go and check that out. But it's how people get to know you. So start archiving your best stories. If you're putting out content every day, it makes sense to save it and have it on that, that, that line so people can get to know you and your brand. I wouldn't bother with doing any of the cover photos these days. That was kind of a trend. I did it before as well. You'll see on my profile. Um, back in the day, but now I just use like the the first story is a picture I try and make that a good one and it just shows what they're getting into and then you name them underneath I wouldn't bother with putting the custom-made graphics on them I think that looks a little bit a little bit lame now. So how many pictures do you need a lot of you be watching this and think? Okay, I've got no pictures right now or I've got a couple of pictures How many do I actually need how much work is this gonna take you need a minimum of nine high-quality pictures and I would recommend if your Instagram, be super harsh with your Instagram right now, get rid of all the bad photos, see how many you've got left. How to shoot the content. This is where most people have the problem. They haven't got any pictures of themselves. And that's because when we're in school and stuff and the previous generations, like, why would you take a picture of yourself? That's vain or you and your boys are not just taking pictures of each other. Unfortunately, in the business world and the way the world is going now, you have to have that online presence. So. Get your boys in on the game, get your girl in on the game. They're the two biggest hacks right here. Send this video to your boys. Say, look, we need to sort our Instagrams out. It's gonna help us make more money, get more girls. This is what I want you to do. Whenever you and your boys go to cool places, uh, you go away on vacation, you go to restaurants, you go in luxury designer stores, just make sure you're all on the same page. If you catch your boy doing something cool or looking good in a certain outfit, just to snap some pictures on the iPhone, bam, bam, bang, pictures, cinematic mode, get a quick video of him. That's what you need to do because the candid stuff of your actual life works so much better than everything else. Best iPhone you can get right now, iPhone 15 Pro. I just got the Pro Max. Camera's unreal. That's all you need for content. If you've got money, that's gonna be no problem. If you don't have money, use the best camera you can get your hands on. Also, a lot of my pictures on Instagram, uh, the 15 Pro is basically all you need to get started. If you really wanna go all out on personal brand, if you make money from it, invest in a DSLR. Uh, this is a Sony, I don't actually know what this is, but you can probably figure it out. It's a Sony Alpha Series 4 or something like that. It takes amazing pictures and videos. That's all I, that's all I know about it. 
But basically, use your cinematic mode on iPhone, portrait mode, if you can, get someone with a DSLR to shoot a couple pics of you, add some nice variation to the quality of your pictures. Lighting, don't shoot pictures with the lighting behind you. It's very simple. When the lighting's behind you, it makes a silhouette. When the lighting's in front of you, you see yourself better. Sometimes it's worth just getting a photographer. I'm gonna teach you what pictures you need to take and what content you need to get on your profile immediately. You can just decide to book a, a ph photographer. I think it's better to take a friend and a good iPhone, personally, because sometimes the photographers tell you to do poses and stuff and it looks all manufactured and fake. Okay, what shots do you actually need to build a high status Instagram? This is what I recommend. This does take a bit of money. Try and work around it any way you can if you don't have money. But if you do, you've got to show that you've got money on IG. Otherwise, people don't, don't believe it's true. You don't get the opportunities if you don't have a Instagram that looks like this. So first one, solo candid. What this means is not looking straight at the camera. Mine for first pinned post is me smoking a cigar, looking off into the distance. High quality pinned post, that's your first one. Next shot, get yourself in a luxury whip. This is building a high status Instagram. Doesn't matter, you're not telling people that you own that car. Mine is a Lamborghini that I rented in Dubai. I still don't think that's a problem. I didn't, never told anyone I bought the car. Rent out a nice car, or if you've got a friend with a luxury whip, get, get some footage in it, drive it. Next one, a physique shot. We, we're all on that fucking dialed in lifestyle. You should be ripped. You should be fucking muscular. Show that on your profile. Show the fucking effort you've put into your body. If you haven't done that yet, if you don't have any money yet, that's where the work begins before this sort of Instagram stuff. That's the first three taken care of. Then we go to candid photo with girls. If you go to my Instagram profile, you'll notice there's a picture of me on the phone. There's three girls in the background, my assistants. They can be assistants. They can be friends of yours that are girls. Get them together, say you're gonna do a little photo shoot, get some friends of yours round, hit a candid picture of you dressed up, looking good with girls in the background. The reason you do this, if you show that you've been around girls, it shows that other girls trust you. And that's the pre-selection that a lot of women need to be able to respond to your message. So find a way of getting around some hot chicks and getting a candid photo. Next one, get suited up. Get a tailored suit made, or if you've got a suit already, stick it on, make sure it looks good. Go to a nice location, get a picture of you suited up to show the business side of you. Next one, vacation shot, you in a luxury vacation. Next, next one down, moto. This could be jet skis, motorbikes, ATVs, snowmobiles. Something that shows that adventure, thrill-seeking side that most men have there. I, I can't imagine there's many of you that don't wanna do this stuff. Get it done with the boys, I'm sure you've probably done it already. Get some of you firing some guns, some sick pictures of that, and then some of you with your people. Pictures of you with your boys, pictures of you with your family, whatever, and that is basically all you need. If you, if you can figure out those nine pictures, get them shot over the next month on a high quality iPhone, on a good DSLR, that's all you need for your Instagram. You can then leave it there for basically a year or two until the pictures get too old, if you're not into building a personal brand. If you're into building a personal brand, then you stay on this shit consistently and keep uploading, keep uploading, keep making it better and better. But this is for guys that just want to take the pictures, have them on there. Now when people see me, they see I've got the blue tick, good profile, picture, good description, great pictures on there, looks like I live an interesting life, and now you're open to do business. That's basically what we're getting you set up for here. It's a one-time investment, then it's done. As a, as a final point to this video is natural over filters. The iPhones and the cameras that we shoot on now shoot such good pictures. Don't use the shitty IG filters. That's the quickest way to look at a profile and think, Oh, Jesus, that's a rookie. That's a rookie right there. So I would recommend go totally natural. You now have the ingredients to build a high status Instagram. If you've got money, obviously it's gonna be so easy, but it is so important to show who you are, to show that you're about business. And lads, that's pretty much everything. So hopefully that's given you a good place to start. You can write down the shots you need to get, figure out with your boys who's gonna take content, get that put in, get a date in the calendar, get that all shot, your Instagram's now sorted. You can continue with your life or you can keep building it. Totally up to you. Lads, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you again tomorrow on the next one. Whoop!